With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start our section. The question says, a wave represented by the equation y equals a cos kx minus omega t is superimposed with another wave to form a stationary wave such that the point x equals 0 is a node. The equation for the another wave. Okay, in this question we are provided with a wave which has equation y equals a cos kx minus omega t and it is superimposed with another wave. It is superimposed with another wave to form a stationary wave. The two wave form stationary wave. And it is also given that the point x equal to 0, it is node. A node that formed in a stationary wave is at the point x equal to 0. And we have to find equation for the another wave. So a stationary wave or a standing wave means when a two wave of same frequency and amplitude travels in opposite direction. That is, that is a stationary stationary wave same frequency and amplitude same frequency and amplitude stationary waves are waves which are same frequency and amplitude travels in opposite direction opposite direction this is a definition for a stationary wave and a node is a place in a wave with where the amplitude is zero amplitude is defined as zero node is a place where amplitude is zero amplitude is zero so first of all let us assume that y2 be the second wave let us assume that y2 be the second wave that is y2 equals plus or minus a cos kx plus omega t and let y1 be the given wave that is y1 equals a cos kx minus omega t in the first case, we are going to assume that the second wave, the another wave is positive. That is the y2, y2 which is given as plus or minus a cos kx plus omega t is positive. That is a cos kx plus omega t. And our given wave y1 is a cos kx minus omega t. We are going to add both these wave that is y resultant r equals y1 plus y2 that equals a cos kx minus omega t plus a cos kx minus omega t. This equation is in the form of a trigonometric equation that is a cos x plus y plus a cos x minus y and their resultant is given as 2a cos x plus sorry cos x cos y cos x cos y cos y and uh, if we consider in this equation we will get the resultant y r as 2a 2a cos kx cos omega t we have said that a node is a place where the amplitude is zero so the given node is at the point x equals zero that is when the x equals zero there is no amplitude the amplitude is zero which means the y coordinate should be equal to zero so when x equals 0 in the first case that is y r becomes 2 a cos k into 0 
cos omega t and y resultant will be 2a and cos 0 will be 1 we will get the y resultant 2a cos omega t which is not equal to 0 so we'll move on to the next part that is we will consider y2 has minus of a cos kx plus omega t this is our this will be our another way and our given equation y1 equals a cos kx minus omega t their resultant will be y1 plus y2 that is y resultant and it will become a cos kx minus omega t minus a cos kx plus omega t and this is also in the form of, form of a trigonometric equation and their resultant y r will become 2a sin kx into cos omega t now we are going to substitute for x equal to 0 at x equal to 0 y resultant will be 2a sin k into 0 into cos omega t so y r equal to 2a sin 0 into cos omega t and the y resultant will be 2 so 2a into sin 0 is 0 into cos omega t so the y resultant will be equal to 0 that is so we have said that um, a node is a place where the amplitude of a wave is zero that means both x and y are zero we have find that y2 which represented by minus of a cos kx plus omega t which is equal to zero so our resultant wave or the another wave is represented as option c minus of a cos kx plus omega t okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today